this tutorial is going to show you how to install Super AGI on your computer, run it and create some agents. Okay, the first thing we need to do is download Git. So type download Git into Google, go to the first search result. Here, click on download for Windows button and click here to download. Now, just click on the file you just downloaded and that will start the Git installation. Here, all you have to do is just click the next button several times. Next, we also need to download Python. So go ahead and type download Python, go to first search result and here, click on the yellow download Python button. Now click on the downloaded file and go through the installation steps. But there's one more thing you need to make sure that you do. And that is clicking on this checkbox for add Python to path. Now go ahead and finish installing Python and click on the close button. Now we need to make sure Python is in environment variables. So go to start button, start typing environment variables. Press enter or click on the open button. Now on this window, click on environment variables and in the upper box here, scroll down to find the path variable. So click on path and go to edit button. Click on the new button and here add the path to where Python is installed on your system. For me, it's C slash Python 3. Your directory might be different. Now click on the new button again and type C slash Python 3 slash scripts with uppercase S. That's another required folder. Now the installer is going to do this automatically for you, but just to make sure because it's an important step. Now click OK, OK and OK to exit environment variables. Now to make sure Python is installed, go to your command prompt and type Python dash dash version. You'll see your current Python version printed out if your Python path is correctly configured in environment variables. Now we're going to download Docker. Go to Google, type download Docker. Go to the first search result docker desktop and here click on the blue button to download docker's installation file click on the file to start installing docker now it's going to take some time so i'm going to speed up the process but basically once installed and launched you'll see this other box just click on the accept button here now go ahead and launch docker you might see this error docker desktop requires a newer wsl kernel version wsl is windows linux subsystem it allows you to run linux commands in your command prompt so here all you have to do is click on the link in this error if it shows up and that's going to bring you to this website so just go ahead and scroll down and click on this link wsl2 download the file and click open file this will update your wsl now launch your docker again you'll see this screen we just need to make sure that docker is running in the background so let's just go ahead and minimize this window go back to google and type super agi github go to the official super agi github page and here click on the green code button then copy this url here this is super agi's github project url now go back to command prompt and type git clone paste the url and press enter this is going to install super agi on your computer it's going to install it into super agi folder so use the cd command to navigate to your C Super AGI. Now open your Visual Studio Code or VS Code and go to File, Open Folder, and find this Super AGI project on the C drive we just created. Click on the folder, click Select Folder. That will open Super AGI in VS Code. Now just leave it there. We need to set up our API keys. So type Pinecone IO, go to the first search result here just sign up and if you have a github account it's easy to sign up you can just use your github account link here so on this page click continue with github 
this will automatically log you in into your Pinecone account. Now on this dashboard, this is where you generate your Pinecone API keys. So click on API keys and they already have one default key generated and you can use that for pasting into your configuration file. Here, I'm gonna create another API key, give it a good name. Here, I'm just gonna say new key and create key button. Click on the I button to unveil the actual key and copy it, store it in some safe place. Now, we're gonna do the same with OpenAI. So go to Google, type OpenAI, account login go to the first login link create or login into your existing open ai account go to the upper right corner click on view api keys go to create new secret key click on the create secret key button and make sure you copy this key and again store it in safe place open ai will never show you this key again now let's go back to our VS code here. Super AGI project is opened. You're looking for config underscore template file, but you need to rename it to just config. So remove underscore template. Now in the body of this file, this is where you paste your keys. Here's my Pinecone API key. And Pinecone environment is the same text you have on the dashboard that's right next to the key. And the open AI key you're going to paste it here as well. Make sure to save this file and let's go back to our command line. So I'm gonna open command prompt, clear this. We're going to launch Super AGI now. So let's go and CD into Super AGI folder. The command for launching Super AGI with Docker is docker-compose op-build. If you get an error on this step, that simply means that Docker is not running. So go ahead and go to start button and type Docker. Here, click on Docker desktop. Now, when Docker shows up, all you have to do is minimize it. We just need to make sure that it's running in the background. Now go back here, type docker-compose up-build and press enter. It's going to take some time to build it, about 5 to 15 minutes. Once it's finished building, just bring up your Chrome browser and in the address bar, type localhost colon 3000 and press and your super AGI will be running in your browser. Here, go to create new agent. Actually, go to settings and make sure that your open API key is specified here as well. This is in addition to our config file earlier. Okay, so here we're going to create a new agent. I'm going to create something simple for a game development. So it's a game dev agent. In the description, I'm going to type learns about game development. And in the goals, I'm going to replace this default text with find best game development tools. This is a really simple example, so I don't expect much from it. At the bottom here, choose your GPT model. I'm gonna go ahead with the GPT 3.5 because I don't want to use my GPT-4 tokens. Under tools section, you can specify more tools, open email and things like that, but I'm just gonna go with the default set. Here in the advanced settings, I can decrease maximum iteration. Here we also have our Pinecone LTM database. And at the bottom, we have permission type, God mode and restricted permissions. Restricted simply means it's gonna ask you questions every time it's trying to do something. Now click on create and run and your super AGI will start performing your agent's tasks. So guys, that's pretty much it to installing and running super AGI on your computer and adding an agent.